Beverly Lahey and some of these women who certainly seem to have a lot of answers that our country needed to hear. And as a teenager, I remember paying some subscription dues to, I think it was the Phil Shackley Report, it was Eagle Forum and Concerned Women for America. And in my dorm room, even, I had a decal on the window, Concerned Women of America, instead of like a Madonna poster or something like that. And I thought, man, I'm probably the only one on campus with, with such a thing. But recognizing even back then how important it was for women, for all concerned Americans, to stand up and, and um, be able to work for truly equal opportunity without government telling us how to do it, but culturally to allow opportunity for all. And that's what Phyllis helped usher in, that mentality, that thinking. I wish I had her energy. Uh, she just cited the verse about those that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They'll mount up like wings with wings as eagles and they'll run and not be weary. And, and that is Phyllis. I'm thinking, well, I went running this morning through some hills in Iowa and I was really weary. So I need that kind of strength we all do from someone like Phyllis. She paved the way. She shattered glass ceilings left and right and again didn't rely on government to do it for us. She had the elbow grease and, and the brains and the wherewithal to just get things done for not just women in America, but for all in America. So absolutely honor me. She's the original mom of Celebrate and 
exercise our faith. If some Scrooge wants to force Christ out of Christmas and wants to ban Jesus as the reason for the season, I wrote about this in the book, is more than just talk about more politically correct Scrooges shouting bah humbug. See, the war on Christmas is just the tip of the spear in a larger battle to marginalize expressions of faith and make America's true religious freedom just a thing of the past. So I wrote answers and actions to protect the heart of Christmas, and I did mix in there a funny family stories and unique family traditions and Alaskana recipes. And there's some entertainment in there. It's not a political lecture of, you know, and shove down your throat uh, type of narrative. But I include in there my moose chili recipe. I don't want you guys to know how to do that. <laughs> what it is, though, it is a call to action, and it's imperative. Because we must protect our constitutionally protected freedom of faith. See, it's really interesting to me that, and that's why I want to take this on tonight, interesting that the Scrooges, those so often the people who are too enlightened for religion, for church, well, they're the very same people who have a zealot-like faith in their own church, which happens to be the church of big government. And what's that do for you? Well, 